let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and open up an instance of Scalar 2. We're gonna take a look at this MIDI, dive into it, figure out a couple different scales that this MIDI can fall into. Um, Scalar is really good about this. It has a detect mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on record, hit detect, and it'll work through its algorithm. It'll find us a couple different scales. As you can see, it's got a couple F sharp frigid mode, B minor, uh, D major, E Dorian. And it's gonna continue to find different scales the more notes that are played out. This is really handy, super, super good tip to use when you're dealing with MIDI and trying to figure out the key of your song or you wanna do key changes and switch things up and vary it, things of that nature. Um, but it looks like we got some scales we're probably gonna work with. We're gonna either go with B minor or D major. And I'll show you at the end of the video, both of these scales will work with what we're working on on this MIDI. This MIDI is inspired by Chop Squad DJ from the song, What Happened to Virgil. So if you want, go ahead and check that out as well. You can see where I got the idea from. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag some stuff over. I have some pre-made scales that I saved in a template within Logic. Uh, I grabbed B minor. I'm gonna go ahead and line everything up. Let's go ahead and load it over the top of one another. So I highlight both of these, double click, drag it up. And you can see that now behind it, the green notes are my scale, which would be B minor in this case. And everything's lining up. There's nothing out of key, nothing's uh, missing notes right here. So it's looking pretty good. Let's take another look. This time we're gonna go ahead and look at D major. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I got the scale printed out already, saved in the template. Let's go ahead and drag that over. Same thing, you wanna highlight both of them. Click it, and there you go. Now you can see that looking at this MIDI, not only does it fall into the scale of D major, we also started on B minor. This MIDI happens to work on both major or minor, and just like anything else, the major will always have a minor and the minor will always have a major. So you maybe wanted your song to be more on the sad side, you might keep the key of your song on the minor, B minor. Now if you wanted to have a little bit more swing, some upbeat drums, something a little bit more upbeat, you would probably lean toward the major side. Looking at what we've done, you can see it will work for you either way you decide to go, major or minor. I made this video today specifically for the Logic Pro X community. I know some of us have seen others and would like to be able to emulate our friends and the videos we see online where FL Studio users are using ghost notes so effectively. Although it is a very, very cool tip and trick, um, sometimes it's good to learn your scales. And this might help for some people to learn music theory a little bit better, maybe uh, dive that route and start exploring more of that. So anyways, guys, I hope this helps. And I'll see you next time when I decide to put up another video.